Welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to cover IP storage and networking for Citrix Zen server. All right, we've got our diagram, and our host is GRT Zen 1, which is going to connect to the 10.10.1.0 uh, storage network through the NIC 1, which we will configure. All right, we'll go ahead and jump to our host. And on this particular host, we can see we have three NICs. So we'll go ahead and take NIC1. And we've got uh, three networks set up already. And we have our management network, or management interface on network zero. So we'll go ahead and come down to configure. We'll go ahead and add IP address. And we'll go ahead and add our storage. And we'll go ahead and choose network one as that's the network currently associated with NIC zero. And we'll go ahead and assign it a static IP address. All right, and in the case of uh, storage networking, the storage network needs to be a completely separate IP subnet from the management network uh, in order to really isolate interface uh, when configuring there's also the tell me more about configuring IP based storage traffic which will bring up a help file that'll give additional details regarding storage networking all right we'll go ahead and click OK all right and so it went ahead and grabbed uh, the network one and using it as an interface so I'll go ahead and do that. I'll just go ahead and change the name of network one to correlate to storage network. All right, and so I'll go ahead and add the storage real quick. And I'm using NFS storage right now. All right, and in this case, our particular storage target will be on the same subnet that we assigned the storage interface to. All right, in this case, we have an existing storage repository, so we'll just go ahead and attach the existing storage repository. All right, you can see our storage was successfully attached. All right, and so in this video, we covered configuring the IP storage network for Citrix Zen server. All right, subscribe to the channel for updates. Uh, you can contact me at Twitter, as well as find the additional content on the website, or you can go ahead and connect with me on LinkedIn.